Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss polygons and their angle measures. I and mean, we're typically talking about regular polygons. Regular polygons are when everything is the same uh, size and all the angles are the same. So, for example, an equilateral triangle or a square or a regular pentagon. So, uh, there are some formulas that are associated with these that you need to make sure you are aware of and it looks like the following. The sum of the angles in a regular polygon look like the following. There's a formula for the sum, and that would be 180 times n minus 2, where n is the number of sides. And if you think about that for a second, for a triangle, you would do 180 times 3 minus 2, which is just 180, that's for a triangle. Or if we had a square, you would do 180 times 4 minus 2, which would give us 360, and so forth. If we did an 8-sided figure, you would do 180 times 8 minus 2, which in this case would be 1080. So the number of degrees in all of the angles in a regular octagon would be 1,080 degrees. Now, going to the next page, we're going to discuss another. The next formula deals with each angle in a regular pentagon, and the way you would find that would be 180 times n minus 2, which is technically, which is technically the sum, and then you're going to divide that by n. So if I wanted to find each angle in, let's say, a square, we already know the answer is going to be 90 degrees. But I'm going to take 180 times 4 minus 2 over 4, and that's going to give me 90 degrees. The cool thing about this formula is we could use it for any regular polygon. So it could have 12 sides, it could have 4 sides, it could even have 35 sides, and we'd be able to figure out the measure of each angle in a regular polygon. Let's take a look at the next formula. The next formula is sum of the exterior angles. Sum of exterior angles. Now, the sum of the exterior angles is always 360. It doesn't matter what shape it is. So, for example, if I took a regular a equilateral triangle, we know that all those angles are 60 degrees, but the exterior angles, this one would be 120, this one would be 120, this one would be 120. So, the sum of the exterior angles is always 360. And if I did 120 plus 120 plus 120, that equaled 360. That happens for every, every, every regular polygon. The sum of the exterior angles is always equal to 360. The last formula for this unit is the following. I'm going to be looking for each exterior angle. And each exterior angle has a cool formula associated with it. And it's going to be 360 over n. So, for example, if I wanted each exterior angle in a regular pentagon, then you would do 360 divided by 5, because there are 5 sides in a regular pentagon, and you get 72 degrees. This, again, works for any formula, any polygon shape that you need. So there are basically four formulas that you need. Uh, the sum of the interior, each interior, the sum of the exterior, which is not technically a formula, it's just 360 degrees, and then each exterior angle, which is 360 over n.